Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale, and I'm um, kind of showing off the intro here, but... Yep, yeah, screw that. I think on one of the later parts I do show off the full intro, though, and I don't need to go down there. Oh, this is the part where I get lost on my way out of Waterfall. I think. Could be a later part. What? No, I don't... Did I want to go to Snowden? Was I going to purchase some healing? Oh, right. Sometimes the boat will look like this, and it will do this animation rather than the usual boat animation. Temi Village. What about it? Yeah, I know where it is. I I've been there. I've been there, actually. I know where Temi Village is. In fact, once you figure out where to go, it's not that hard to get there. Oh god, I really hope that visual distortion that I just saw didn't happen to you guys on your end. And uh, the music just skipped there. Dear god, apparently uh, the Xbox recorder does not like recording this game. Xbox recorder being obvious- not playing this on an Xbox, obviously, but what was I going over here for? Uh, I'm not flying this on an Xbox, but, uh, the, the laptop I'm using has this thing called an Xbox Game Recorder. Which is, uh, what I use to record games, because it's, it, although, honest, because it, 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 the footage quality is a little bit better than Bandicam, which is what I used to use, but, Honestly, there are some cases where I actually miss Bandicam, because Bandicam recorded everything in 1080. Uh, this recorder will record things in different uh, qualities, depending on the game that's being played. Like, uh, this game is only, I think, maximum of 480. This game's not in the best quality, uh, recording-wise. Uh, Half-Life 2, and I think maybe Portal as well, both recorded in 720. And, uh, Carnivore is recorded in 1080. So this game, so depending on the game you're playing, it'll be a different, uh, level of recording. What do you mean you should have worn a four more pairs of pants today? You don't even have legs. Well, I'm sure they have legs underneath that cloak, but still. Weird comment. Some of the comments this guy makes are weird. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Even though you can't see the laboratory upon entering the screen. Oh, I can't talk to that one. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. What? Oh, and the door... Again, really shitty security. If the door automatically opens like that, it's a, it's just serial killer bait. And it's too dark to see near the walls. Even though I can see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Did we just stumble onto a reptilian den? The lost that lost tapes episode, reptilian, is that gonna happen in a minute? I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and what are you talking about barely dressed? You've got that lab coat on. I wouldn't count that as barely dressed. <laughs> Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. <laughs> I'm not one of the bad guys. Sure. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my cough. Bad touch! Bad touch! Stranger danger! Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally gonna stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. I don't know. I've watched Donald Trump on a screen plenty of times, and I've never been rooting for him. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Oh, God. I originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Something. I don't know why I keep pausing on the dialogue here. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, 
anti anti human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. <laughs> that was an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Oh my god, you idiot. Hopefully we won't run into him. Also, notice, three buck teeth. Notice in her dialogue, it's three buck teeth. Did you hear something? Oh god, this scene I abused in the undermash. Don't go back and look at those videos. I really should just go back and delete all of those. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! Today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Never played before? Gorgeous! No problem, it's simple! There's only one rule, answer correctly! Or you die! Yeah, now notice she only has two buck teeth! Let's start with an easy one. Okay, now this is the thing, if you look at Alphys' hand, you'll notice she'll get- she's giving you the answers. Lord Pushover- Fuzzy Pushover. I combined two of the answers there. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. They're not made of sugar and spice, because that's the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, it's D, apparently. Apparently that is actually the correct answer, so... Oh, right, this one tricks you. Yeah, you- well, that's his fault! He's the one wearing the goddamn Froggit shirt. Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, I mean, if if the ghost was into it, how would you do that though? I mean, wouldn't you just face through it? Would you kind of just face through them? What is Beauty's favorite? Oh, 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 crap! The uh, the minimize, close, and maximize bar are uh, blocking this. But I have to play this game in minimized mode just because it's easier to actually uh, see that I, my recorder is still working then. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? And now she has three buck teeth again. What the hell? Where does the third one keep going off to? The third buck tooth is just sentient. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. And there are a couple of options, and fuck it, I'm going with the correct one. I mean, you guys end up together at the end of the pacifist ending, so I can't exactly... She names programming variables after her. Mine are just mainly made up. Those which I... The, uh... The programming vari variables I made in, uh... In, um... Engineering class, I I just sort of named them after cuss words because uh Robot C was not easy to use. This is just a pilot episode. Uh I don't know. Game show garbage might have might have an issue with you. I've never watched a single episode of Game Show Garbage, but I was reading TV Tropes' page on a horrible uh, game shows a couple days ago, and, uh, it talked about that. Actually, this is really reminding me of that one game show, of that one episode of the first season of Doctor Who, where, uh, the Doctor and the others kind of have to compete on the, that, those, like, future versions of those, of, like, realistic game shows, and the prizes, and if you lose, you die. Except you don't die, because we don't, we're not gonna kill off secondary characters like that. Russell D. Davies hadn't decided to kill every secondary character he wrote yet. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. It's a bathroom sign. Is it? 
Because I don't know what gender lizard is supposed to indicate. Or is this world even more like, are there... Why is there dog food? Let me give you my phone, phone number. Th then, maybe if you need help, I could... What? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! I got it from my mother! W wait a second, please. What the hell was that scream? <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one special social network. Is it fucking Tumblr? Because I don't want to sign up for that website again. I'm already on that health site, and uh, trust me, there are many days where I wish I could just leave. I don't know what I was stopping here for. Uh, yes, Brayden, be completely amateurish and just stop in the middle of a Let's Play. Just stop, get up, go do something while you're fucking recording. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. You were just in there. Okay, whatever. It's more like a donkey than a... This looks like a walkthrough to a game. Oh, maybe it's a walkthrough to this game. But it's pretty cute. How could a garbage can be cute? But, uh, I'll see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Undertale. Thanks for watching. Bye bye